Hi everybody. I want to go over this myth that I've been reading about, and I don't know if I want to call it a myth, even though I just did, as much as it's inaccurate information. That you can't hold, you can't touch a pixie frog, the oil on your skin, you're going to kill the thing. Th that's not true. That's just, that's not true. That's misinformation. But you may be saying, but wait, here's your typical little animal tray. I see a couple things here that you're going to talk about, but where's the pixie frog? Bum bump, 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 bump. Here he is. All right, all right, go down here. So where does this myth or this misinformation stem from? It stems from the pixie frog being a giant African bullfrog, being a frog, being an amphibian, drinking and breathing and living from its skin. <clears throat> but wait, that means you can't touch it. Okay, there's the problem. So yes, if you had really dirty hands, um, huge amounts of oil, you dipped your hands in gasoline, motor oil, crude oil, uh, toxic waste, right? And then you touched the pixie frog. <gasps> That's going to get absorbed through their skin, potentially get, make them sick, and kill them. Okay, but I look at that as, so we drink through our mouths. What would happen if we, I don't know, drink gasoline, drink crude oil, again, drink toxic waste? It, it poison us as well. So, so the, the, the big fallacy is that you just can't touch them. I interact, I've had multiple pixie frogs. And I still do. And they've lived 30 years. Pet them. Hold them. But there's a couple of things that you, you do need to do to, to make sure they're okay. You do need to make sure that your hands are clean. That you wash your hands. So you don't have dish soap on them. You don't have bleach, laundry detergent. Honestly, just dirt from working in the garden and mud is probably the least of their problems because they live in mud. But they can't get those chemicals. And yes, like a, a small little drop that maybe gets washed off is going to do absolutely nothing. But you can't soak a pixie frog in a, in a bucket of bleach or bleach, you know, poisoned water, things like that. So, so this could also, though, happen with tap water because there are places that have tap water that has it's extremely dirty it's hard water maybe it's got a lot of chemicals lead the flint water crisis comes to mind where your tap water could be potentially again the word potentially harmful to the pixie frog and not just the pixie frog all frogs and even fish things that need to swim in the water but wait even other reptiles that need to drink the water See where we're going here? So even a, a normal reptile that drinks water. But, but wait, what about your dog, your cat, again, yourself? So this gets everywhere. So there's things you can do. You can use reverse osmosis water for your reptile's drinking water. And if you need to put a liquid supplement in it, that's a great way to do it. Um, there's products out there. I really like, not sponsored, API Stress Coat Plus. Uh, it's really good. Remove and, and there's more than just one, but I, I, I've had a lot of luck with this brand and this type, and I've used it quite often. Uh, you know, it'll clean the tap water, and then it does stuff where it's got some aloe vera in there that will help heal cuts and things like that. So um, my Chinese water dragon soaks in the water, but then also through its mouth drinks the water that it soaks in. This is a good product. They, they make products like, uh, you know, a TDS tester. To test, you know, you can get a reading on how dirty your water is. It doesn't tell you what's in the water, but it gives you a number. Oh, where, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, you want to be held? Okay, I gotcha. I'll pick you up. That's fine. You're going to get close to the camera. Uh, so my pixie frog, because I hand play with him all the time. We watch TV. Loves to be held. Loves to be pet. Loves to be held. I'll come up. I'll pet his face. It's all nice. He's going to fall because his back leg's off. There we go, because i got to hold them all awkwardly. So, no, that, that's a lie. But it, I think it's a lie, a myth stemmed in the truth, as in better to be safe than sorry. So, instead of telling people how they can touch a pixie frog or what they would have to do first, we'll just tell them, hey, 
you're not able to do this. So just to recap, you can touch frogs, you can touch pixie frogs, you just have to have clean hands. If you give them water to soak in, you just have to have clean water. That's it. All right, guys, hope this helped you out. Like I said, I love petting, touching. We watch TV. We go outside in the backyard. I love interacting with my pixie frog. Uh, you can do it. You can interact with pixie frogs. You can interact with other reptiles. You can pet some fish. You, you can do things like that. Don't, don't be tricked by what you read online. You can do it. Just do it correctly. Everyone take care.